Burner! Join Von Burner, Von burner indeed burner. here. This is the match a lot of people have been looking forward to. Some of the highest level RJ is going to be here. We're going to look in the pre-band, see how the players want to play. We see the Robo pre-band and the Gurkha pre-band. Makes a lot of sense here. Robo pre-band means that Tar Tars probably doesn't even have a Robo. Uh, doesn't even use Robo very much. Uh, but he definitely doesn't want to be competing here. That's generally the weakness when you play a Gurkha a lot of times. So, pretty smart pre-band. Pinkroid instantly lays down that Oliver. Yep, there's that very quick Oliver draft there from Pinkroid. Taz looking to respond with a Tian Lang, taking that away from Pinkroid, and a Masha, honestly taking the Masha away from Pinkroid as well. Wow. Very quick drafting here. Uh, as mentioned, these players are prepped for each other. Tian Lang, Masha, very good picks into the Oliver, but that Masha, very good in the, in that Oliver, that, that Miles, very good in the Masha here in the Shizuka, just a good unit overall. Yep, let's see what he's gonna be drafting here. Tars hovering over a more and a Cigar coming out. Interesting, so Tars going for the cleave route here. Uh, Pinkroid, and that's exactly why I took out the Robo G92. So Pinkroid needs to be able to, to withstand it. So he could either go with, oh, goes with the uh, Kinky here. Not something expected. Kinky would might not be the best pick here. Kind of interesting. Juno makes a lot of sense here. Juno's great into all of those picks except for the Masha there. Uh, so kind of an interesting pick here. We get to see Kinky for the first time in the SWC World Finals. Yep, that's the first time here. We're going to see what Taz is going to be wrapping up his draft after seeing a Kinky and that that Juno. And it is going to be a Chung Pung. Very AoE drafty here coming out of Taz. Yeah, absolutely. Very AoE drafty here. And I think we're going to see potentially a ban on the Kinky. Uh, generally, when there's a Miles on the field, you assume that the Miles doesn't exist because the stun rate is very low. So I think the Kinky ban probably makes the most sense. You could also see a Shizuka ban if he doesn't want to deal with RNG. I don't think it makes sense to ban the Juno. Uh, but also a possibility, you never know. But I think Kinky Ban probably makes the most sense. If I'm Pinkroid, I mean, this is a tough This is a tough one. I mean, you're probably looking to take out uh, either Chungpung or the Sagar. Um, otherwise, you're going to be controlled. Attack bar reset. It's just very oppressive uh, stuff coming out inside of cars. Well, bans are locked in. Shizuka is going to get the ban, and so is Moore. Moore is gone. No more speed leads for uh, uh, Taz here. 33 speed lead coming out for Pinkroid, though. Yeah, so this is going to come down to a lot of aggression. It's going to, going to come out from the side of Tars here, and it's going to be up to see if Pinkroid can withstand all of that aggression. I'll see what happens. Skill 2 not getting a strip there onto the uh, uh, the, the Chung Kung. Chung Kung did take a little bit of damage, though. Does get that reset on top of the Masha, hitting again with the second skill as well. Second skill available with Tian Lang. Let's see if he chooses to use it or not. It's a lot of damage that's going to come from the side of Tars, though. Looking to see that Chung Kung and Sagar come right afterwards, and there's going to be defense break and a lot of damage coming. Oh, additional turn's gonna pop out here. Let's see who uh, Taz's gonna be aiming to take out first to get that second. Uh, the defense does not get the defense break. Off. Absolutely massive Ooh. miss of the defense break and huge despair stuns on that from that Juno. That was huge despair stuns coming out there and honestly big damage coming out of the Kinky as well. We're looking at more damage coming towards that Chunk Punk. Chunk Punk not looking so good right now. Oliver could be looking to take it out, but it looks like he wants to reduce the attack bars of the Scar first. Yeah, Pink Point absolutely in a great spot here. That Chunk Punk. It's gonna go down soon. That Juno moves in front of that Chunk Pung, so Chunk Pung's gonna be dropping soon. And I don't think Tars has a great answer for this Kinky. Oh, there's a double stuns there going down the Juno, and of course that Oliver there. Serious matters coming out to reduce the attack, but there's the revenge and the kill going out on top of that Chunk Pung. But again, Tars doesn't really have an answer for this Kinky. Kinky does so much damage, and there's that Juno that's not going down yet. There's the additional dan uh, additional turns coming out. There's that defense break going out onto the Juno, looking a little bit better for Tars though. Yeah, looking a little bit better for Tars, but Tars about to lose a unit here once that Kinky takes some turns here. But Pinkwood is going to lose that Miles and is likely going to lose that Oliver any second. Yep, definitely going to put it down. Oh, looking for the Provoke and not getting a defense break. It's going out on top of the Cigar here. Now there is places to put this defense break uh, with Tian Lang. He might just try and get rid of the uh, the Miles now. Yeah, but again, Tars is in a rough spot. That Tian Lang doesn't have skill 2 for a while, so he's not going to be able to lock down this uh, Kinky here. So Kinky's going to be able to do a lot of work. Kinky needs to dismount this Masha, though, very soon. Oh, there goes Tian Lang. Tian Lang's going to get dropped from the field. We have second skill available with the Cigar. Could just go and get the take out there on top of the Oliver. I think he's looking at a defense break onto, the, onto that Kinky there. He chooses not to use that here, so Masha's likely going to be dismounted right uh, very soon here. Yep, there's a lot of damage. Looking to go and try and take out the Cigar here, but now we have defense break that not going to be landing. Masha does get the initial turn, though. We've got this Kinky, and this Kinky is going to be very tough to take out. We're going to see his potential a kinky solo here. Pinkroid's kinky is doing so much damage. Yep, there's the attack bar reduction, there's the provoke, but there goes the cigar as well. So much damage coming out of this kinky. He needs additional turns coming out of this Masha, and Masha's not going to have enough. Let's see what the second skill is going to look like, because this is going to be it right there for this unit. Does get the initial turn, does the crit happen? And Masha's not going to do it. And Pinkroid's kinky is doing so much damage. 
Pinkroid takes this 1-0. Massive victory there for Pinkroid. Wow. First kinky solo I've seen in a long time, especially at this level. It's not something you see very often. Uh, Tars definitely did not expect to see that. I think Tars needed to land a couple of stuns onto that kinky or deal with that earlier. Did not really do so and obviously paid the price for it later on. Yeah, there was just not enough damage to keep that uh, kinky back from doing what it was doing. It was landing those defense breaks, being really, really disruptive. I couldn't tell if it was built on violent or despair, though. Uh, that's a good question. I mean, uh, not sure exactly what the build is. I mean, we're only going to see once, you know, we see those a proc or not. Uh, but again, just great picks overall. Probably 100 res kinky, by the way. Not a lot of things landed on it. Uh, but again, Pinkroid, very innovative drafter. So we see a lot of stuff from him that we don't see a lot of times. He's able to use a wide range of units in just about the right spots there. Being able to see what happens throughout the course of the match in a different, unique way that most players don't. That's what sets him apart. That's why he's the favorite here. Well, let's see what happens here as we get into round number two with Taz and Pinkroid. Pinkroid looking to maybe get his own version of a 3-0 here, and that would be huge against a player like Taz. That would definitely be huge here. Again, so we see the bands on the Gianna and the Gurkha alternating, so as ex uh, that's going to be expected that those are the two pre-bands on and off here. Tar's taking out the Moor here. He's going to take the Oliver off the bat, leaving Pinkroid with not really many options for speed leads. Yep, first pick from Taz is going to be the Oliver. Look at the very quick draft from Pinkroid. It is going to be the Masha and Miles looking to get locked in here from Pinkroid. Yeah, Miles from Pinkroid just does so much damage. And of course, Masha from Pinkroid is one of his best rune units, just does so much damage as well. Yep, there's that Gurkha coming back. It's going to come back here as a second draft for Tars. Yeah, Pinkroid does have a Tian Lang, and Tian Lang's great into all three units here. So I would expect to see a Tian Lang. Geo's kind of interesting, uh, but I would have expected to see a Tian Lang there. Shizuka and Juno for Pinkroid. Taking the Shizuka back and bringing back the, G uh, the Geo. So Geo's great into Oliver and, and kind of a wash with the Praha there. Um, but the Juno's a great pick into most of the units there. So that makes a lot of sense. But I would have expected a Tian Lang because the Tian Lang's really good there. But Pinkroid favoring the longer term match probably thinks he's a better player. Generally, when you're a better player, you want the longer match. There's more decision making. So it goes with that to more of a turn two type play. Uh, on his side of the field. There is the Nana coming out for Taz. You're very interested to see that unit. And a Dom... Ooh, takes the Dominic back. Does he choose the lock on the Dominic? Goes with a cigar instead. I'm, I'm looking at him. I don't think that's the unit that he wanted to draft there. Yeah, I don't know about that cigar there, but that cigar... I mean, this allows Pinkroid to potentially ban out the Praha. He could either ban out the Praha or the, the Gurkha. I mean, I think a Gurkha's potentially a good ban out here. Tars doesn't really represent a ton of damage. Pinkroid does have... Probably the best Masha or one of the best Mashas in the world here. So I think Gurkha's probably the man that makes the most sense. Just doesn't want to deal with that unit. Uh, the Juno ban kind of makes sense, but again, we know that that ban's a Gurkha here. So I like Pinkroid's draft here. That Masha's going to do a lot of work. Yep, 33 speed lead coming out for Tars. Get an HP lead for Pinkroid. Should be Tars taking turn one with that cigar that he chose to draft here. That's a very fast cigar moving in front of the Miles there. Every th three units taunted up. That's a lot That's a lot that Pinkwood's going to have to get through off the bat. Yep, that really is. For a unit that he wasn't too sure about drafting to getting a lot of value right now already at the beginning of the match, getting a very nice despair stun on top of this Masha. Yeah, but this Geo, that's a big resist, and that's a big resist because that Oliver doesn't have attack bar. It's going to have to wait a whole turn again to get attack bar. Yep, let's see what happens with this uh, Praha. He chooses to use his third skill, only his first skill. Gets the additional turn anyways, pummeling that damage on top of the Masha that is defense broken at the moment. Yeah, but that Masha is going to take a turn before this Oliver here. So Pinkroid might be able to get a turn, might be able to snipe out a unit with this Masha. Let's see what happens. He does have that second skill. Looking for a provoke. Does land on top of that Geo here. We do have skills available with the Miles. Looking for a stun. Not receiving that stun. A little bit of damage coming towards Shizuka. It was provoked up. Now the damage coming back towards the Praha here. We're looking for a despair stun coming at Anana. Does he receive it? Does not. Almost gets the dismount, though. That attack break is definitely going to help keeping a little bit of damage back from that Masha. Yeah, definitely a big attack break there. And at the same time, Pinkroid does not have heals at the moment. And there's a Nana with one orb that might get more orbs once this Nana gets, uh, once, this, once this Masha gets dismounted. So Pinkroid's in a little bit of trouble here. There's a lot of healing, a lot of resilience from Tar's side. Yeah, it does get the despair stun, though, on top of the, uh, the Cigar here. And the violence procs are coming in there. A little bit of damage. Uh, Cigar only at 50%. Masha is going to get dismounted, though. Oliver with, Oliver with third skill available. Yeah, Oliver's just going to be able to control the field here. He has third skill, then has second skill up. 
right afterwards here. So Oliver's going to be doing all of her things here. And Pickwood's not really going to have any skills available. And we're going to get the reset, tech bar pushback on top of the Shizuka. The Gyo getting the additional turn. Third skill is going to be coming back. This is where Oliver does all of her things. There's that second skill coming back. Once again, such an oppressive unit. Such an impressive unit there. One proc allows it to take four turns in a row there. And it's, oh there's going to be another my turn. Oh god, this is absolutely insane. So Oliver is able to take six turns in a row before anything takes a turn. Such a strong unit there, and unfortunately for Pinkboard, that's just so much damage. Oh, with the double despair stun, hit the field as well, top of the miles, and the Shizuka as well. And there's his writing was on the wall. Tars with a round two victory. Yeah, kind of a tough match for Pinkboard there when your opponent's Oliver goes six turns in a row. That's a <laughs> lot to deal with. I mean, Oliver's just such an oppressive unit on the ladder. It's just such a draft impacting unit. I, I do think uh, Pinkboard's draft was a little light on threat in general. I mean, he relied a lot on that Masha, but obviously wasn't able to get that Masha through. He got outsped. Typically, when your opponent gets the opener, uh, I mean, in this type of meta here, the opener matters so much there. Yep. That Cigar moving in front, resetting all the attack bars, we allow Tars to take that one pretty easily. Yep, that was really, really crazy, crazy turns coming out of that that all of there. You know, it is just six turns with uh, a reducing attack bar, with both skills, you know, resetting, uh, you know, it, 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 it's kind of oppressive when, you, when you're when you able to do that with a unit like Oliver. Yeah, I mean, that, it's just six turns is, I mean, six turns is not that much, right? No. I mean, we've seen, I've, I've seen Diana's take more than that, but just such an oppressive unit here. So Pinkboard really needs to consider that. Uh, maybe taking the, Tian, the Tianlang would have prevented that. So that's why I was surprised he didn't take the Tianlang earlier. Maybe he'll take it this time here. Uh, but again, I think I expect to see the same bands as we saw in the first matchup here uh, to, to kick this one off. Yep, and there's the bands. We're going to have the Robo G92 getting banned out here and Oliver. So we're not going to see seven turns <laughs> as we get into round number three. So it'll be interesting to see what Pinkwood favors. I would like to see a more first pick coming out of Pinkwood. We see Tars take more a lot. Pinkwood has one of the best mores in the world. There we go. We see that more instantly laid down by Pinkwood. Very nice. And then we've got Tars going to be responding here with a Shizuka and a Gianna as his first picks up against Pinkroid after seeing that more come out. And I think after that, we're going to see a Masha Chung Pong coming out from the side of Pinkroid here. Something to complete a cleave. I don't think we're going to see a lot of turn two action here. Uh, the the more is also off will. I believe it's off will. So we see a Chung Pong and a Sean. This is his Pinkroid's shiny new toy that he pulled in the lobby of the hotel the other night is being put to use here. And it's a great pick by him. Yep, Sean is coming out onto the field here. Let's see if Tars is going to be prepared after seeing this unit hit the field. I think Tars is going to need to play for speed. Wow, and we see a Jackson Gurkha. So talk about LD abuse here. Yeah, so many LDs, and that Jackson is probably not what Pink Roy prepared for. Jackson is allowing Pink, uh, allowing Tars to get double attack bar, also gaining attack bar when attack bar is reset on his side. Such an oppressive unit. Yep, let's see what happens. Pinkroid looking at wrapping up his draft here. Got a Tiana and a Juno looking to wrap up Pinkroid's draft. So this tells me Pinkroid's going to ban out the last pick here. And there's going to be a lot of units off will on the side of Pinkroid's here. He's content to cleave his opponent down with a Chungfeng, Sean, uh, Moore, and uh, Tiana combination with the Juno back up into the Gurkha here. So I think Tars is going to, this last, this fifth pick unit is going to be banned out. Could really be anything. I think Pinkroid's just in a great spot. See what happens. Last pick from Tars is going to be a Leo, and that is 100% going to get banned out here. Yeah, definitely going to ban out the Leo here. But the question is, what is Tars going to pre-ban? Because at the, he's going to be faced with an AOE cleave no matter what. There's going to be a Tiana into a Chungpong, into a Sean. I think you're going to have to ban out either the Chungpong or the Sean here. So most likely going to take out the, the Chungpong. The Chungpong is probably the most oppressive unit of everything there. That's exactly what happens. Chungpong ban, Leo ban here. So we're going to see a Tiana opening into Sean with more. There's a lot of damage going to come down to how good Pinkroid's artifacts are, and I can tell you from playing them before, they're very powerful. Well, let's see what happens. We get into round three with Pinkroid and Tars. We've got that Water Ryu kicking things up with just the first skill into the Gian. Yeah, Pinkroid saving a skill, wisely saving his skills here, being very, very, uh, very careful with how he uses them. Yep, there he is. Gets a full team stun. We get an additional turn coming out of this Gurkha, though. Gurkha looking to potentially lock things down here. Maybe even go for the Tiana. Does get the two turn provoke on top of the Tiana. Tiana does not get a defense break back on the Gurkha. Gurkha looking to deal even more provokes and damage to this field. Yeah, and this one might be it there. He's got two provokes going on there. So unless the Gurkha gets stunned, that's a big stun on that Gurkha. Big stun right there with additional turns rolling out. More damage coming towards that Gianna. Gianna looking a little low right now, but bombs can come out. Bomb's definitely going to come out here, but again, that Gurkha's just so oppressive here. I don't know if Pinkboard's going to be able to withstand that unit. Ooh, nice despair stun going out on top of the Gianna, but we've got second skill available. Getting the defense break. No provoke landing on top of the Sean, though. 
Yeah, but again, I don't know if Pinkhorn can withstand this. That Gurkha's just too much control. That Juno's gonna need to do a lot of damage there. Unfortunately, only strips of Jackson. Yeah, did not get any real strips right there. We've got Gurkha looking to fly more provokes. Does land true on top of that Sean there. Yeah, again, this Gurkha's at full HP. Pinkhorn doesn't really have an answer to it. Needs to take out other units so that he, he that Juno can solo here, but Pinkhorn's in a tough spot that Tiana might not be able to do the job here. Yeah, look at the despair stun on top of the Jackson, not receiving any of Jackson skill too. Nope, goes with a skill of one, a little bit of attack bar reduction on top of that Juno. We have a skill one going back out onto the Juno. Yeah, but uh, Tars wisely choosing not to use any skills on the Gianna, keeps the soul protect on it. And again, Pankoid needs to do some damage, but there's not really many targets to go after here. Yeah, there really is. And you're going to see him potentially finish off that Tiana here. Yeah, I think he's going to be looking to score some kills. So Tiana and the Sean are going to be going down here. But again, this Juno needs to do some damage, but I don't think it's going to be able to do enough once there's a Shizuka protecting wow. a, 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 Defense a break like for folks that. going back across the entire field of Pink Road. Of course, not that Juno, not just yet. Yeah, and this is Gurkha, ladies and gentlemen. Just so such a good unit here. Just two turn provokes on everything, instantly taking full turns. Not anything Pink Lord can do once it gets a turn. Yep, Tar is trying to take advantage of the units that do not apply anything on top of this Juno to stop any form of sustain from Pink Lord. Yeah, Pink Lord's in a world of hurt here. This is not easy. This is a lot of damage coming out. And again, this Gurkha is just taking another turn. It's at full HP here. Yeah, look at that defense break for two turns for provokes. Back onto the Sean. There's just nothing he can do about it. So much damage, so much sustain for this Gurkha. Gurkha just just way too oppressive. Yeah, and that Gurkha not getting stunned there is also pretty big there. Pink Lord, I mean, there's not really much Pink Lord can do here. This Juno is just not going to be able, not going to be able to take this one. Yep, here comes a big skill too. Looking to deal some big damage towards that Juno, and it is going to be enough damage to take him out there. And there you have it. Round three is won by Tars. I mean, that match just came down to Gurkha. I mean, Gurkha is just such a strong unit. Once it gets online, big proc there too. I mean, if he didn't proc, I think Pink Lord would have enough damage between Tiana's skill too and the Moore's skill too, because I know Pink Lord has some amazing artifacts. That Moore does a lot of damage. I think he'd be able to squeak that one by, but unfortunately for him, uh, Tars was able to proc and then land those provokes. And once that Gurkha gets online, that game's over. Yep, most definitely. I mean, we watched Oliver take six turns. We watched Gurkha absolutely ruin that field. Tars looking very, very strong, but it's not over for Pink Lord. Pink Lord has round number four to try and close things, clo get things closer to a game number five. Yeah, so we'll see if Pinkoid's able to adjust here. I think he should be pre-banding the Gurkha. That Gurkha is just too much to deal with. I, I, I think, and he also has a Tian Lang in the back pocket, right? But even with the Tian Lang in the back pocket and Geos and whatever you want to bring in, Junos, that Gurkha is just too much. It cuts off too many options, and once that thing gets online, the game is over. So I really think Pinkoid needs to just pre-ban the Gurkha, and if he can get to a fifth match, maybe a Cleave is consistent. But it's not a unit you want to deal with if you're Pinkoid. Not at all, but let's see what's going to happen here, guys. We get into game number four with Pink Roy and Tars. pre bands from last time is going to be that RoboG92 and the Oliver that are now available. Moore and Gurkha going to get the ban here. Yeah, so Pink Roy facing elimination here. Definitely needs to be careful in this draft. Uh, more pre ban I think we're going to see an Oliver first pick, as usual. And then we're going to see Pink Roy leaning into a, some sort of a Masha Praha pick. Like, Oliver too good to pass up on, and there it is. Oliver's going to be the first pick for Tars. Masha and Shizuka very quickly drafted by Pink Roy. Tars looking to respond up seeing those two units here. Tars probably take, yeah, Praha, and probably Praha's going to be another pick here. And Tars probably could lean into an LD here. Could really do a bunch of things. I mean, this this third pick, as long as it's not doesn't commit him to a certain speed, I think it's okay. Yep, there it is. Nana and Pra are going to be drafted by Tars Pinkroid, hovering over a Dominic and one other unit. Surprise, Pinkroid has not leaned in with uh, Tian Lang yet. Tian Lang is quite good in all of her Praha here. So, goes with the Dominic here, and I think we're going to see, we have to see another support unit or a speed lead coming out from the side of Pinkroid. Uh, goes <laughs> with the Tian Lang. All right, there we go. So, we finally see the Tian Lang come out great into Praha, great into Oliver here. So, solid picks by Pinkroid, and we might see like something like a Wusa last pick because he's missing, you know, something like a Wusa last pick from Pinkroid. Yeah, he scared us for a second, possibly bringing out that Mo Long, flashed over quickly to the TN Lang right after that, but we're going to get a response, and it is going to be <coughs> the Mo Long and one other pick. Yeah, so we see the Mo Long coming out from the side of Tars here, and Tars basically looking to go aggressive here. We're going to see some more damage. Mo Long, Bovar, pretty all in here, uh, coming from the side of Tars. So Pinkroid could lay in anything, could be a Robo G92, could be any other AoE units, could be a Sagar, but I think that last unit is going to be banned. Pinkroid cannot ban the Oliver. I think Pinkroid's going to need to ban out either the Molong or the Bulwark, most likely the Molong here, because otherwise he's going to lose a unit off the bat. He can't afford that when there's a Nana stacking orbs uh, and there's, you know, losing a unit off the bat. It's just going to be a little much here. So he's going to lay the Sagar. Sagar's going to be banned. Bulwark's going to be banned. And Pinkroid's just going to take a lot of damage from the Bulwark, 
um, a a into a lot of his units and gonna need to get some bursts, get a couple procs going. Well, let's see what happens, because that could definitely be the situation there. I don't think Pink Roid's up for losing a unit right now, especially when there's not on the other side of the field getting all those stacks up here. But it's a really important ban right here, really important situation is exactly what you said. Molong getting the ban, and so is Cigar here. Of course, going exactly as I said here. So we're gonna see that Bulwark, that Praha do some damage, Probably not enough to take a un to take a unit out, and Pinkroid's gonna need to come back from behind. Yep, here we go, guys. Round number four. We have a very quick Praha looking for some big strips here. Not getting a strip though on top of the uh, uh, Shizuka. Yeah, and all we need is to this Oliver not to take a couple turns. If this Oliver procs a couple times, it could be bad news for Pinkroid. That could be a lot of damage, a lot to deal with. Yeah, Tar's able to get that attack break on top of the Dominic, which is really big right there. We've got skills available. Oliver looking to get the attack bar reduction. Does get it, but no reset on top of the T and Lang at all. And Pinkroid's gonna be able to do a lot of damage. If you look at the attack bars here, Pinkroid has all the tempo in the world right now. So I think Pinkroid's gonna be able to take out this Oliver, and then he's gonna be able to take out more units after that. Ooh, big defense break on top of the Oliver. And there's that damage coming out with the initial turn as well. That's gonna confirm the kill right there. That's a big kill right there, and this Shizuka's gonna be able to lay down skill three, and there's gonna be more turns, more damage coming from the side of Pinkroid. Yep, Oliver is gonna be shaking this defense break, but Mach is gonna be coming up real quick. Here's the additional turn, but it's not gonna really do too much with the, all the immunity shields on the side of Pinkroid. Yeah, the Pinkroid, but the, the Oliver not able to do much because there's immunity on the side of Pinkroid. Pinkroid does have skill two from the side, from the uh, Tian Lang here, so Pinkroid should be able to use that to take out some units here. Yeah, I mean, you could tell that uh, Tyra's is desperately trying to get rid of this Dominic as soon as possible here. There's that third skill, dropping the knowledge on top of the Dominic. Dominic at 1%, he needs to really take advantage of his defense break. Does he get the additional turn? He does! Gets the additional turn, gonna be dropping that all over here. No more orbs to save him here. Absolute display of pure skill by Pinkroid. That proc was absolutely massive, and Pinkroid has all the tempo in the world. It looks like we have a really good shot of going into an ace match. Yeah, there's the initial turn right there coming out of the Praha as well. Really, he's just trying to get rid of this Dominic. Dominic finally gets dropped here. Now it's just Masha into all of these water units. That's a pretty big deal to lose that Dominic here, because Pinkroid's main damage dealer is a Masha, but there's all the units on the side of Tars are a water unit, so it's not quite over yet. This Tian Lang's gonna need to get a couple of procs if Pinkward wants to seal this one. Yeah, double stuns going on top of the Nana and the Bulvac as well. You can see that second skill coming out. I think he's trying to take advantage of some uh, potential defense breaks later on and keep bringing back that Dominic. He's gonna have that second skill available now. Yeah, this is gonna come down to the Masha doing, getting some crits here, not getting some glancings, doing some damage here. Pinkward's looking like he's in a good spot here. That's a big proc from that Shizuka. Yeah, big proc right there, because who doesn't choose to get rid of that uh, 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 Praha just yet. Yeah, chooses not to get rid of that Praha here. Uh, wants to keep the HP a little lower here and take it later. Uh, this Bulwark and that heal block is also massive on it. Yeah, really big heal block there. But there you have it. It's going to come back because of that last orb there. We do have five stacks of knowledge, though, with that Bulwark. And he does not proc there, so we're gonna lose. He's gonna lose that proc. That's a massive despair stun. Big despair stun's right there. Returns the pass. You can have Dominic coming back. He does have second skill available. He's trying to finish off that proc as soon as possible. Does get the branding, and there's that big damage. There you have it. No more orbs bringing that unit back. And Pinkwood's such a good player, looking several turns ahead, knowing that he's gonna need that Dominic skill too there. Yeah, there's all that damage coming right back at that Nana. Shizuka is gonna be dropping here. That's a big miss of defense break from that Tian Lang. Does not allow Pinkboy to do a lot of damage, so this is not over. That Bulwark is healing a lot, getting stacks over and over here. Yep, taking the uh, taking the immunity away from that Masha as well. Also getting five stacks up right here. No Despair Stones coming out here. Gonna see a big skill too. He looks like he's gonna try and pull something out. Doesn't get anything, any results there. Wow, Pinkboy's actually looking like he's in trouble here. That Tian Lang's gonna be going down here, and I think Tars is in a commanding spot. Tars is definitely in a commanding spot indeed. I mean, I don't know how this Masha is going to handle both these water units with all the sustain and all the stacks that Bulwark is going to be getting, especially with Masha providing so much immunity for this Bulwark to take. This is crazy with two orbs also on top of the Nana with a dismounted Masha. I think that's definitely going to be it for Pinkroid here. I think that's definitely going to be it. Tars with two water units going to take out Pinkroid here. That is it for sure. That's going to be Masha there. And there you have it, Tars taking down Pinkroid and moving to the final. Wow, definitely not expected there. It looked like Pinkroid had that one there. Uh, Pinkroid just up such a, such a big advantage there, but unfortunately getting Despair Stun from that Nano was absolutely massive. 